Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know, and I cannot believe I'm saying this already, but welcome to the world vlog. Let's go. It is so weird being here as a coach and not as an athlete already because I feel like as an athlete, like your entire weekend's itinerary is like written out. You have not really any free time. Like, you know, you're here on a business trip. So you're just like, all of our teams stay like as a team. And like our coaches stay together, but like I'm here early right now because I just got to Orlando. But it feels so weird not being here as an athlete with a specific room with like a whole plan for the whole weekend. Like, I feel like I, I kind of get free time which is so odd for me. But we're starting the vlog on Friday. Like I said, I just got to Orlando. We have our official last practice ever tonight at TG Orlando, which the vibes there are always awesome. So I'm very excited for that. And then I know that LJ always like for many, many years now has some traditions that we do tonight. So I'm so excited that I get to be a part of that finally. And I'll take you guys along for that too, because I know it's always a very special moment. So I'm excited to finally like be on the inside of it all. And then LJ competes Saturday, Sunday this weekend. Tito C and Double O compete Sunday, Monday. We have a bunch of other teams in there throughout the mix. I don't, I haven't like fully looked at the schedule yet. So I don't even know who goes when. And there's so many divisions now and I, everything is all over the place that I'm just along for the ride. I know when LJ goes, and that's really all that matters. So, I just wanted to get on, start this video here, and I guess let's go to practice. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. I'm it is <laughs> Friday of <laughs> We're running right now. We got, I literally look like a goal. Um, sports bra by Deli. <laughs> sports bra by Deli. Running shorts by Miss Kristen Marioni. Wow. Pink bottoms. This is my last time ever being coached at practice by the Gabby Fuller. Hey guys! Hey. Uh, so, Coach Greg asked me to be here uh, for this. Um, to kind of give you a little backstory. I think it was 2014? 2014. Okay, so I'm gonna go back 10 years to the first year that we uh, had OJ. It was just us two, and to be honest, we really had no idea what we were doing. We were just young kids, and then we took LJ to Worlds, it was a great experience. Following year came and we had the team, like we knew it. But we just didn't know as 
two males how to connect. So this was kind of a way for us to connect with you guys and for you guys to be able to feel the family and the sisterhood that you guys have created over the last year, two years, three years, eight years, whatever the case is. And so the balloon is just kind of a symbol and like a relic of whatever it is you guys hold near and dear to your heart. So at one point, it was like, well, we got to get them to release their fears. But it ended up growing and being so much more than that. So it was just whatever you felt in your heart, you were able to get out of this season, whether it was a connection or friendship you made, whether it was a bond with a coach, whether it was lasting memories. So this was just your way of being able to finally feel like you are a lady job. Okay, we're out of the Actually, pop mine every year. I'm Sharpie Yeah, we only have like four Sharpies, so it's taking a little bit. I'll just act like I'm ready. Ooh, 11 11, that's good. There is not an inch left on that balloon. I have a lot to say. <laughs> you have every inch covered. Good job. Hi, my queenie weenies. It is Milana Page and my best friend, C. We are here today as two beautiful girls as our last. Basically, like last, our last practice. Our last. Our last practice, for real this time. We did amazing, and it was a great practice, and this weekend is gonna go amazing. You already know. Um, I just wanna say that balloon release is so special to me because we're just manifesting and get rid of anything that's negative and bring everything that's positive, and it really just brings us together. Everyone's having so much fun. It's the cutest. I'm gonna show you guys. Look how cute. Balloon party! Okay, okay. Take a pink. Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> and good morning. We're here ready for day one of Worlds. Practice ended up being so good last night. I feel great going into the weekend. I am on my way now to meet the girls. I'm getting there super early because I didn't end up staying at like the team hotel, so we're gonna head over there early, see them all getting ready, make sure everyone's good to go if anyone needs any help with anything. And then we are loading the bus to head to ESPN for day one. Let's now here's go, the thing. LJ. So day one used to be a lot more stressful because these divisions used to have a plethora of teams where you had to make top 10 just to make day two. Um, now because there's so many divisions, majority of the divisions you just automatically go to day two because there's not even 10 teams in them. So LJ's division only has, I believe it's eight teams in it. So today's still obviously important. One, to just like get the nerves out and feel confident going into the finals day. And two, because it determines your performance order tomorrow and LJ's block is early in the morning. So if you want to sleep in more, you got to hit today so you can be higher up in the rankings. So that is pretty much all today really weighs. And then obviously you want to do well so you can get a accurate like feedback on scores and kind of look at the judges comments see what needs to fix or if there's anything that you do need to fix to try to get a higher score for tomorrow everything like that so there should be no stress today it is literally like just uca day three they've already done this before we're in the exact same actually today we're in the arena we're not in the same venue finals day we're in the same venue which is my favorite venue to compete in ever which is the field house so this is so weird going in as a coach it does not feel like world still but i'm very excited hey guys welcome to world's day one Let's get lit. What? Yeah. Our bus comes <laughs> in like 10 minutes. We've been up since 7 a.m. We're Let's ready. Go. I've been up since 6.45 because I'm not. I heard you was long off. I thought I was mine. I did. Gabby, we and to get a picture. Good morning, beautiful people. No, it is World okay. Day 1. Let's, Let's go. One. Don't play. We're going to show you, you the fresh drip from the so flow. You might have seen this on Twitter. You might not have. But. You guys. Drip. Down. LJ has shoe game. It's official. I haven't talked in a while, but I just want to give Miss Fuller a little thank you message. Gabby, you are literally, you have such an influence on this team, and we literally would not know what we do without you. You're the most perfect person ever. You literally support us through anything. We could literally do like so bad, and you are like jumping, crying, screaming, everything. Like, we all love and we appreciate you so much. And LJ is so grateful to have you. Wow. You know, Greg texted us last night and said, I had no idea Jenna did that with he hair dye. Into the room and he was like, oh, are you gonna paint it? Like, how do you sleep? Like, are you gonna sleep on your one side? I was like, 
that's not it. Wait, who said that? Greg! Let's go! What's up? We are so ready. Yeah! Thank you. Hey, Sylvia, she's ready. Looking gorgeous always. Word. Five, six. And three, squeeze. Seven, and one, two, three. Get it published on your way. One, and three. Five, and seven, and one. Three, up, five, hit the seven. Take it up. Three, four, five. How do you feel about World Day 1? I'm so pumped we're about to hit zero. It's really hot. Like, I bet you could see, like, the sun reflecting off my forehead right now. Tell me, tell me I'm not the smartest chiller ever. Okay. okay. Get yourself that cool and towel. Don't play. Don't play. <laughs> it's, it's a hot day today in Lando. In the old town. <laughs> Phenomenal day one. Like, but we had two bobbles. Everything else was great. I, I would say it was like the perfect day one. I like when day ones go like this. Um, you can't even see me. But we <laughs> rankings came out. We are in third right now, but we have the highest raw score. So I feel like we are in a great position going into tomorrow. Honestly, I that's where I prefer. I don't I don't like going into day two in first. So I feel like it just adds added stress. So I feel like we're sitting in a great like, position yeah. going in today too. But we just met to one eat because we were all very hungry. We went over score sheets, we watched the video, slowed everything down. Now our bus is picking us back up. We're going over early. We're gonna have a little mini practice and then we're gonna go watch, watch Glock. 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 Gabby, can nah, we nah, so we do it's this? Glock. In my makeup, I did this all on my own. She's a good liar. No, I'm not. I'm I don't girl. believe you. Look, all the glitter on my own. Lashes. It came out so good. Yeah, she did it. She's grown. Yep. It came out so good. She didn't want to take it off, so it's still there. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. How was your first world performance? Um, it was awesome. It was honestly. You killed it. Watch her basket. Literally go higher than the whole the whole globe tomorrow. We're going all the way up. Fred, I swear to God. <laughs> Carly, 
<laughs> Full blown workout. I got to, I gotta feel my music. She thought the sunset was pretty. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Down three, up five, and seven, eight, one, two, three. Better. Don't mess with the stomp first. Gabby's. Yo, literally, don't mess with me. Like, y'all don't shit on me Look because you shoes. can't rock them as good as me. Tell me mine are more fire, though. I love yours. Okay, yeah, yours are really cute. Yeah. Down, one, and three. Yup. Yup. One, beautiful, three. Yep. Five, hit, seven, and yep. one. Three, yep. four, five, six. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Yep. Run, Holly. Seven, one, two, three. Hey vlog! After We're going to watch the vlog! Not Speedy not and yell it back! Gold! Come on, gold! gold. Black. Gold. Black! Black! Top Gun is back! Gold! Black! Top Gun is back! Gold! Black! Top Gun is back! G-O-O-C! Top Gun is back! And it's almost midnight and I just got back to my hotel room. We have an early morning tomorrow, guys. Our meet time is 7.15. So, got to be up bright and early. The good thing is I'm a coach, not an athlete. Because I was an athlete and we had to meet at 7.15. I would have to wake up at like 4 or something. So, luckily, I don't really have to wake up until... I don't even know. I feel like it takes me maybe like 30, 40 minutes at most to absolutely get ready. Obviously, I want to look good tomorrow. I didn't try too, too hard today, so we'll probably have to put a little bit more effort in tomorrow, but I'm so proud of them today. I feel great going into tomorrow, and I'm just praying that it is the absolute best routine they've put out all year because they deserve it. And guys, let me tell you though, um, the feeling of being a coach, 10 times scarier than being an athlete. I've competed in the arena, competed both days last year. I get nervous before I compete. Nothing compares to being a coach. I literally thought I was going to throw up before they went on. Just because you feel so out of control of anything. Like, at least when I'm an athlete, I'm like, I know I can help my team through this. Like, I can make eye contact with someone. I can mat talk them. Like, I can help them. I know I'm in control of what I'm doing. As a coach, like, as much as I wish I could make eye contact with everything, everyone, like, I am still on, like, a lower level, so not everyone's looking at me. Like, I definitely, the good thing about the arena is the coaches are literally right in front of the stage. So, there's a lot of people that I was talking to did make eye contact with. Obviously, like, that not only makes me feel better, but I know that it helps them as well. So, that's a good thing. But going into a competition like Worlds as a coach, terrifying. So, um... Got the first day under my belt, at least. I think we'll be a little bit more calm tomorrow. Like, I didn't let it show. Like, my co-coaches were like, I had no idea you were that nervous. But I was like, I literally thought I was going to throw up for some reason. Like, I, not like legit, but like kind of. Like, I was stressing out. I just want it for them so bad. Like, so, so bad. And it feels crazy to like, for once in my life, to not be a part of it and have control of it. So, we are going to bed. I need to shower, get my makeup off, immediately crawl into bed. And we are up bright and early for Worlds Day 2. It feels so weird that tomorrow's already our final day. Because, like, some teams didn't even start yet until tomorrow. So, the Worlds Vlog will continue, though. But, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning! Welcome to day two! Woo! It's 7:12 a.m. We have a song for you guys this morning. Okay, everybody, screenshot send that to me. You know who you are. This is how I'm feeling today. 
Biggest supporter in the corner. Oh, oh Gregory. Hey. Gregory. Got him. Right, let's go. <laughs> Why is he so serious? time updates I literally think I'm about to yak right now so OJ went on and they had a, a shaky routine but like I cannot be more proud of them they fought for every last second of that routine like to keep everything up in the air everything stayed up everything was on their feet especially after a not so phenomenal warm-up it was definitely a little shaky the warm-up tumbling mat was literally concrete so the fact that they were able to like overcome that go through warm-ups put out a routine like that the whole division is going to be literally neck and neck because no one hit today. I feel like I am going to throw up on this side. This is so stressful. We had to fight for something like point wise that we got back. So things are going well so far. We still have another almost like two hours for awards. I feel like I'm going crazy. We just watched Large Senior, which was so much fun to watch. They were all phenomenal. And I'm just trying to like continue watching cheerleading to get my mind off of awards because I literally feel like I'm going to freak out. And find out who our 2023 world champions are in the level six senior medium division. Mark, are you ready to get this started? Let's do it. Our top three teams circle up on the floor around one of the logos at the top. Your coaches can come join you in the circle as we find out who's taking home the bronze, silver, and gold. It's important to know that we will be announcing our gold medalists next, but in order to honor both of these amazing teams, the top two teams in the world, can we please celebrate them together at this time, a show of applause. <laughs> World Champions. The gold medalist is going home with. And it is now two weeks later. I was dreading editing this video. One, because that means like it's the end of LJ 2023. Like so many people that have been in the vlogs like consistently are aging out. And it's so sad that I won't coach them again. But two, because I didn't know how I was going to end this video. So they did end up getting second, which I am so extremely proud of. It was like 10 of their first ever world experiences. So for a third of the team going out there for the first time ever and getting second place, that is insane. I am so extremely proud of the performances they put out both days this weekend. And I'm so proud of them for getting second. Obviously it hurts, especially because we got second by 0.7 away from first place so like as much as you want to be so extremely happy about it because globing in general is a huge deal knowing that you are that close does obviously sting a little bit and i don't want to go into this way too much on here but obviously if you saw on twitter after the fact we did try to fight every possible thing we could have because of the scenario 
And I just, I want to say congrats to the A-team, though. I don't want to harp on this because I've been on the other side of it. And it sucks seeing on Twitter that, like, another team got robbed or that you didn't deserve the win. And I don't want to take away their moment at all because they were clearly just the better team that day. And they should obviously be proud of that. And I want to say a huge congrats to them. But if you guys saw on Twitter, like, what was happening after the fact, we truly tried to fight in every way we possibly could for these kids because they deserved the absolute world. But unfortunately, there was nothing that came out of it. So they did end up just getting second. And I am so proud of them. And silver is such a huge accomplishment. There was so many, like, I want to say maybe like half the team that that was their first ever globe. So it's a huge ordeal. I cannot believe that this is where the LJ vlogs end for this year. They don't end, though. We will be back next year. So Get ready for a new group of girls, which is going to be so sad thinking about it now, but it's going to be so exciting in the moment getting to see and meet new faces. So get ready for that. And I guess that's everything that I have to end it on. Top Gun had a phenomenal world turnout. We had six golds, one silver, and one bronze coming out of the weekend. Like who was doing it like Top Gun? Literally no one. Anyway, make sure to give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that, and I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win.